Uh, I don't think... Yeah, I was about to say. Is this Chaotic Dubs on the Bayonetta, so uh, we might have an aerial battle. Yeah. Anything else? Those I'm actually pretty curious on the aerial interactions between me, Bayonetta and Yoshi. Both of them like the air. They have pretty strong aerials, but... Uh, but both their combos perform differently because a band that really relies on multi hits while Yoshi, while Yoshi could just reliably take your stocks with like a few stray hits. Yeah, but also I feel like that Pharaoh's understanding of Bayonetta will also be really helpful here and as well as being able to utilize the double jump armor to try to get out of these sequences. But Chaotic Dubs already starting off with a nice little sequence and even using the double jump to extend it further, the lag not going to be any indicator here and already a huge lead Whoa. in favor of this Bayo 116 completely unanswered ah. for and even a witch time my goodness that was essentially a zero two death chaotic dubs trying to get a dub with their own on Pharaoh. This would be amazing if this has a continuing well in their favor. Double witch twist into the double up there. Okay, guess he had the murder kick. Doesn't find any much better, but uh yeah, this is the scary part of the bayonetta. If you let them do what they want, they can stockpile the damage and make their jobs a lot easier. Mm -hmm. but at the same time, a big lead, but you still can't count Pharaoh out on there as Chaotic Dubs just needs to go and just keep playing safe, play the out of shield game, go for those guaranteed witch twists, but excellent usage by Pharaoh, understanding that you can punish it by getting there and try to bait out an air dodge or a witch tie, but instead it's gonna be the directional air dodge misreading on that one, expecting the one to be just in place. Trying to get a tech chase, but smartly just goes the roll oh. away and survives the Yoshi bomb as well. Yeah, it survives it pretty well. And now we get to see the aerial battle. After Burner Kick going downward, avoids the forward smash just in time. Here we go. Oh, that wish was just carried him too far into the air, and that's a back air to punish. Back air to punish, but Pharaoh's gotta be real careful. Potential up tilt into a bear and even conditioning on, on their chaotic dubs trying to chase it down with abk Whoa. but a sequence should start here does pharaoh try to wait for bat within no continues with those hits solid damage though oh wow. if the guns were let loose i might have connected yeah well the climax would probably be done if i i do understand why chaotic dubs was a little afraid to let it rip oh my and, and the bullets did not fly thinking. yeah i've seen a lot of making from chases the roll and jumps over the forward air of Pharaoh. Okay, I just need to at least get back onto the stage control, or at least safely onto the stage, because so far, Pharaoh's been playing decently, and the backer just barely touches him. Yep, this time, retreats it on there. It's gonna be the fair swinging out of that disadvantaged state. Wow, a little bit of a crawling interaction on there. Tries to go for it all with a tech wow. chase, but did not land a straight forward smash trying to catch it. Maybe it's the lag, but I love this little low profile stuff in wow. there. Wow, it does not connect. So Pharaoh, once again, we're sitting back onto there knowing that a forward throw won't kill just yet. Has to recover, mixes it up, gets onto the high point. So we'll be getting the center stage controls, chaotic dubs. What looked like a huge Whoa. lead might kind of disappear if Pharaoh fishes yeah. for the confirm. Yeah, uh, well, it looks like a whole stock lead is now gone for Chaotic Dubs. Rapid Jab doesn't quite get there. The bullets get a bit of damage in, but now there's the problem with Bayonetta. You can get all the damage you want in the world. Your only problem is what happens when you do too high damage and Ooh. you can't connect your combos. Yeah, and that Nair almost killing out on there, but hashtag not going to connect just yet. So now all of a sudden, the ugly head of Bayo's weaknesses is going to show being unable to kind of clean up this stock and Pharaoh halfway oh. doing it there tries to go for it oh wow. my god that is a there scrambled egg for sure getting caught within the time warp will uh -oh. not be able to survive that one but real good stuff chaotic dubs continuing with a nice sequence tries to follow up with a double jump but this time Pharaoh knew it was coming so instead waited and because of that extra lag was able to actually get punished a lot of trades happening on there and a lot of good percent Whoa. being thrown out Pharaoh almost clips it out with the forward smash but has to be real wow. careful yeah especially with these landings right after chaotic dubs because uh Pharaoh has been trying to punish more of these landings from time to time oh smash this is a platform though and uh <laughs> I wonder what ends it here. Okay, we get. Oh, hey, Wish Twist just gets comboed out for the Nair. Up till. Doesn't find the mark, but the Nair finishes it off. Chaotic Dogs had a big lead, and Pharaoh thoroughly going to call for out. Yeah, I'm not seeing actually a response to uh, Pharaoh just going for the low profile. And I think that's a really smart decision. Like, you can low profile under like a straight bear of some sort, but as well as it just makes it easier for Pharaoh to try to sneak in those ways, playing way back. And trying to get the percentage down is a really smart thing. Yeah, look at that. That is that 
I'm getting like air sickness. Yoshi must be suffering right now, being thrown around within that egg. It's like a damp. It looks like you're a Pokemon stuck in a Pokeball when they're like riding around trying to hatch an egg at that point. But we'll be staying alive. We'll continue on for yeah. Chaotic Dubs had a huge lead. But Pharaoh's patience, and as well as the way where he's able to close out stocks by just like crouching on there slowly, like crawling on board, and just getting a, a tilt attack yeah, into an under confirm. All right. Okay, the at the burner kick is unfortunately just goes straight there because Chaotic Dubs reads the at the burner Whoa. kick again, and the forward smash just lands here. This is a complete set turnaround from the beginning of the game. Yeah, it's what's it's like the dangers of going against a top player. They, like game one becomes close, and then game two can be real scary because then they start adapting to all your options on there. And now Chaotic Dubs with a huge there, and even the trade as well. I'm loving this play by Pharaoh opting to go for the Craw. I love this little pass on there. And this is the fair, unfortunately, for the punish. So instead we'll be rolling on there, trying to cover everything, but Chaotic Dubs has a huge, huge deficit trying to get over. Oh, well, that's a break set. Yes, that's what I was waiting for. And Pharaoh gets it this time, which time not going to be there. It's going to be Bayonetta that's going to be made extinct as Pharaoh. Amazing tech on display, throwing <laughs> it back. God damn. What is going on there? What was that? I don't know. The kids will be happy to see that. And here we go up till uh, into those double forward air. Pharaoh in complete control of this game with that shield break. Nair comes out forward arrow out of range. Yeah, try to get it on the go. Happen to you twice. Don't let it be you. Uh, here Don't we go. let it be you! My goodness, Pharaoh puts it up on there, gets the shield burn twice! My goodness! There you go, there's a the complete set turnaround, and Pharaoh quickly wins game two to win the set two to zero over Chaotic Dubs. Oh my goodness, I saw the platform set, and I'm like, no way, Pharaoh. Yeah, this man's smiling. You know what you did. You're a bad man. I can't oh. believe it all started from this sequence exactly. It all really went downhill. The chaotic those had his really high moments. Mm, I mean, it was just really well done. And even patiently waiting for the up tilt in order to go away, just avoid the nightmare situation where it could potentially clank. But this is what I was talking about. The passive play, by utilizing that, I think it's like the backward hitbox of up tilt gives you enough time to do so. And I really like that play by Pharaoh. It's a tactical throwback, you know? That's what you yeah. gotta do. And here yeah. it is, attempted it there, but I think it was too, um, was expecting the shield, but instead Chaotic does one for immediate witch time. And afterwards, I would think Pharaoh would be a little scared to kind of go for it again, but no. Remained unfazed, and this pass play by crouching, and for that up tilt, so good. Yeah, and all because Chaotic does expect Pharaoh to go in there with an up air potentially, but uh, yeah, you get the first of your mini reads, which is that forward smash on the afterburner kick, then you just... Wow, I just I'm still fathomed by how downhill this went for Chaotic does, but kudos to Pharaoh for you know finding all of that work. It yep, was so damn go. good, yeah. It, it, you're stuck. It's it's basically it's like checkmate after that one, but real good stuff on there. Pharaoh doing an amazing job on and just kind of closing it out there. Really just I think the reason why I was shooting is that Chaotic Dubs just felt so scared from how much aggression and how many hits that Pharaoh was able to kind of get and those things but real good stuff on there we'll have to see we'll be right back we're gonna take a quick little break give us some time to get some water make sure y'all don't go anywhere we got way more sets to finish out on this pool b here at fusion 200.
And hello everyone, and welcome back to Fusion number 200 here on Twitch Factory Select Collision Series. If you are not following the Twitch channel, I do not know what you're doing because you had all the time in the world to follow the channel in support. And my name is Supernova, that's Wolf Scratch. We are here for Pool B currently, and our next matchup is going to look like Cup Chew and Omni Element. Yep, and I'm really like I'm really liking to see that uh last DQs. Which I should, which should be expected in a later pool. You have an hour more than most players learn to get yourself ready. But down in this bracket on B, you have a lot of heavy hitters like Zamba, um, <clears throat> Sola. You have Haze, Pharaoh that we just kind of saw earlier. Lemon tea, yeast, syrup, and as well as oh, who else is here? That I should be. Oh, PK Chris. There we go. That's what I was looking for. There's so many heavy names here in this second wave of pools, and uh, it's quite interesting to see who makes it out of here into the top 32 phase. As, uh, we see some of these games can get pretty hectic towards the end, and so far it doesn't look like a whole lot's happened. Or like maybe a, an upset here or there, and I believe Lardo is actually the first one to get an upset in this pool. Let's see what can be done, but honestly, really good stuff on that bracket. We got Cub Chew versus. Oh boy. Omni Element. I yeah. get nervous seeing long tags because I'm like, well, how am I gonna how am I gonna butcher the name again? Wait till you hear her jets uh, tags, they get crazy. <laughs> but yeah, we've seen Cub Chew before in the in the stream here. I don't recall seeing Omni Element. And Cub Chew, when the last I saw, they played Sora and they were able to beat uh Mr. Muggs, yeah, there you go. He beat Mr. Muggs two to one just barely with that Sora of his. Hey, we got some, we got some Omni fans down there. No matter if ain't no Omni man, we got Omni Element instead. Yeah, Seek number seventy-five. Yeah, I, I should keep, like curious. Okay, where did Cup Chew go? It's like he shows up at the street, and then the next minute, where did he go? It's the Ice Man. <laughs> In pools. Yeah, Cup is gone. I don't know where he went. Do we know where he went? Or are we or are we just gonna declare Omni Element the winner by default? <laughs> I think one big thing that I think is kinda underrated about Ultimate that I just kinda remembered just hearing the characters is uh I just realized that it's like one of the this is the first time that you can um grab the sandbag. Oh, you never knew that? What? No, I'm saying that it's nice. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm not that stupid. Or am I? <laughs> okay, I must Actually, don't, answer, don't answer that. Never mind. I already know the answer to that one. Yeah, no, don't worry. I just misheard what you said. My apologies. I'm pretty sure we're all, we've all been in a situation where we hear one thing and then you, you say one thing and then we hear another. Oh, pays me $20 says what? Yeah, I'm quite curious to see who on the element plays and hey. whether or not Cub will stick to the to the Sora. And now he is back. Cub is back. 